Okay, well, good afternoon. Uh, thanks for the invitation to participate in today's conference. Uh, my name is Graham Ross, and I am neither a data scientist uh, nor an academic as well, so there's a pattern emerging uh, this afternoon. And uh, I'm one of uh, three uh, members of the team that's undertaking the, the Your City Centre project. Uh, the, I will just give a quick um, scene setting before we then get into the guts of this discussion with my colleagues Max and Simon. So Glasgow uh, City Centre is very much the, the focus of this project. Uh, I'm from a, a practice, Austin Smith Lord. Uh, we're architects, urban designers, uh, planners. And uh, Max is from Space Syntax, Simon from Urban Tide, and I'll allow, allow them to maybe give you a flavour of what they're uh, involved in. I know some of you have heard uh, parts of this presentation that I'm about to give ad nauseum, but I just thought it would be helpful to give uh, a quick scene set before we then get into the rest of the discussion. Glasgow uh, City Council uh, prepared a city centre strategy which was published uh, back in 2014 and that city centre strategy amongst other things identified nine districts within the city centre. Each district is to have a regen framework and the regen framework is to be taken forward as supplementary planning guidance so it will become planning policy. Uh, we uh, tendered and uh, secured the commission to undertake the next four and you can see them on the screen there, Blythswood Central, Broomelaw and St Enoch very much uh, key parts of the core city centre and indeed we're in the midst of uh, uh, that location today. To undertake such a piece of work we've assembled a multidisciplinary team which includes Space Syntax and Urban Tide providing uh, the evidence-based uh, analysis that we were required to provide as part of our brief but also we felt that given the Future City Demonstrator project that Glasgow had undertaken, it was vital that we tried to capitalise upon the Smart City agenda. And so that's why we called upon the, the advice of Urban Tide as well as uh, Space Syntax. And so we're very much looking to take forward a holistic approach to planning, not only spatial planning, but socioeconomic uh, development and trying to inculcate and embed that with uh, a, a sense of the engagement, the collaboration and the monitoring um, aspects that have just been outlined uh, elsewhere uh, in the UK. And so this is a collective effort, it's not our city centre, it is very much uh, a collective effort and it's uh, therefore been a case of trying to engage with uh, citizens, with uh, stakeholders uh, of every uh, description in the city over the last uh, uh, 10 or 11 months or thereby. We've very much been proactive in getting out and about and speaking with people in the street, gathering evidence and data, uh, both anecdote and uh, also through uh, various uh, survey techniques. We've even had a shop, you were talking about having a Peterborough t-shirt, we've not quite yet got the, the Your City Centre t-shirt but I think it'll look pretty fetching in pink. Um, and that process continues, we're in the midst of this uh, piece of work uh, and so if you're in Glasgow, 24th of May, just over the square at Sydney York Centre, we'll be uh, sharing the emerging ideas for that piece of the city and then in June we'll be uh, talking about Blythswood and Central. So this process is live and, and active and we've augmented that face-to-face uh, um, -face, um, um, engagement with uh, the citizens of Glasgow with an online um, approach, with a website, with social media and also um, with a, um, a platform where um, anybody can post their ideas, their observations, their commentary on this piece of the city centre. So that we're trying to have a multi-channel approach to gathering information and more particularly gathering your ideas for your city centre. We're working within a policy framework, as you would expect, which sets out uh, particularly spatial planning um, objectives, but also trying to capitalise on uh, city deal funding and other funding um, that is available to uh, try and deliver this project always in collaboration with uh, the, the public, private and voluntary sector, working across and breaking across silos, as you said earlier on. The objectives that have been set through the process are in line and in tune with those that you would probably expect for any city centre, to be perfectly frank. Uh, and so whether it's about competitiveness, about physical and uh, uh, metaphoric integration of citizens to their city centre, um, the repopulation of the city is something that's come through loud and clear, the rebalancing of the city with respect to how uh, the, the modes of transport and trying to become less car dependent. Ensure the remarkable spaces and places of Glasgow are augmented by a uh, 21st century um, a design that uh, emulates the standards that have been set by our Victorian predecessors. 
trying to seek a smooth transition from day to nighttime economy. And the seventh objective is absolutely fundamental, ensuring that we get that political will and buy-in, and also the means whereby we can monitor the implementation and the impact. Uh, and that's where the Smart City Agenda uh, can really come into its own, as well as helping to engage. So yes, we've mapped and we're using uh, the online tools to augment that mapping in terms of the, the weaknesses and the threats, the opportunities and strengths within the city centre physically, but also we've been tasked with undertaking a, a, a review of the operational services um, that the uh, local authority and uh, partner agencies deliver so that we can start to try and cut across some of the, the issues, again, underpinned by that smart city uh, process. So we're in the, the, the midst of mapping of understanding where the opportunities lie and canvassing ideas and starting to test and justify and validate uh, what can be brought forward from the extra large to the extra small, from the macro to the micro. And also in considering uh, delivery in terms of line of sight for some of these <coughs> quick wins, but also uh, the, the effort and the iterative process that will be required to make the case for some large scale interventions. So yes, it's about making the city centre more active, more connected in every sense, more playful, more inclusive, trying to activate the river has been a really key issue that's come through uh, from the get-go and trying to, as I say, fuse um, the aspects of the physical, uh, social and uh, economic uh, development of the city and uh, monitoring its performance but infusing that with the smart city agenda. And so that, uh, along with some discussions, we've then engaged with uh, the uh, Urban Big Data Centre uh, and with colleagues in the, the, the city's universities, it really did, did become quite apparent that we needed to try and ensure better collaboration, better sharing of uh, data sources to try and make sure that we can then build the Your City Centre uh, monitor so that we can then actually monitor uh, the impact and implications of the changes that we're looking uh, to try and uh, take forward and seek. So with that, I'll hand over to Max. Hopefully that gives you a flavour of the ambition of the project. But Max, if you want to take up the story from a space syntax perspective. 